Salutations and good morrow everyone, welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I'm giving you guys a little bit of a more in-depth look at the black ants that got added to the game. So in this video, I will not only show you guys tips and tricks on how to be able to fight the black ants, but also where to find the black ant hill entrances and also how to build the black ant gear so and shovel and so sword that that way you guys have the best opportunity to be able to get all the black ant stuff that is in the game and be able to check these little guys out because they are really really cool so what we're going to start off first with is how to fight them so i am over in the trash heap because this is where you will find yourself a lot of black ants okay this is where one of the hill entrances is as a little bit of a spoiler for later on in the video but there tends to be black ants that meander this area now black ants or ants in general are more susceptible to spicy damage than they are here's one right here than they are to uh any of the other types of damage but i have a level 7 salt morning star to help me deal with them today so uh let's go ahead and get started so uh the ants if you look they have the exact same attack as the red ants okay so they're really not that bad at least these little guys aren't uh, they did not add any attacks into the game for the black ants yet. Um, now they do do a little bit more damage and have a lot more health than the than their little um, red brethren, but they're actually not that bad. So you guys can see with roly poly gear, a ant, black ant shield, and a fully upgraded salt morning star, uh, they were not that hard to be able to take out. And that is the standard black ants. The black soldier ants are a little bit harder than that. Um, the black soldier ants tend to stay a little bit closer to the hill. Um, so we're going to go check that out right now. Now, caution, when you're coming over here to find this hill, you will need a gas mask in order to not die or not at least take some health uh, loss while you're over here because this rotting donut that's right here causes a problem for all of those who want to get over to this area. So you have to walk behind the donut. And it's good to have as much stamina as you can get for this part. So just run around the back of it. You're going to take some damage from the gas. But as soon as you're around it, get over here and do a little bit of healing. Because that'll help you, you know, not die. But really, once you get over here, you walk over on this area. And you will notice that you can already hear the black soldier ants walking around. That's their standard sound for soldier ants. And this is their first hill. Okay. This hill on the map is located right here, okay? It's the Black Ant Hill Descent, so what you'll do is you'll walk around this area, you're gonna come back through here and walk around this way. This area right here is blocked, so you can't get through there, so you do have to walk around this location. Um, other than that, that, you can try to squeeze in through here, but it doesn't really work. So this tends to be your location, or you can walk all the way around the outside and get in that way if you want to as well, but I prefer going through this way to get to the Black Ant Hill Descent. But once you're over here, you can go down in here in order to summon out the Black Soldier Ants. I will see if I can do that now. Okay, I am now in their little hill right here, and you guys can see one of the black soldier ants right here. And I'm going to first off show you guys that, yes, they do hit pretty hard. Um, but they are not that difficult to fight down themselves. Um, they are really, really susceptible to bashing damage. And really, as long as you guys have your Salt Morning Star, they're not that hard. And a Salt Morning Star nowadays isn't that hard to make, other than the fact that you will need a Tier 2 shovel, which means you have to kill some of the black ants in order to get this um to, in order to get this weapon but at the end of the day it's not that difficult to make so let's go over and let's go back up and let's show you guys where the other black ant hill entrance is okay so this next location that i want to walk you guys through is over in the sandbox okay but i wanted to start over here by the zip line because i thought that would help for most people who are going to be getting into the sandbox because this is kind of the first area where you have a direct path that leads into the sandbox so we're going to start from over here and what i would suggest you guys do is bring a little tufty with you bring a dandelion tuft um that's going to help you guys out because it's safer to run along the outside edge of the sandbox than to run straight through the sandbox. See, look, you can see little black ants already on their way over here. But running around this backside location, where you're looking for is that little divot right there that's right in front of that giant blue uh, sandcastle building piece. So let's just get over there real quick. 
And what I suggest you do is you jump off of the outside of the sandbox and hover down to very close to the inside of the sand of the Black Ant Hill entrance because it's going to be safer for your character to not take as much sizzle damage because sizzle builds pretty quick if you guys don't have on the ant lion gear or fresh defense. So let's go on and hop on down over here, use my tufty, and then you see I'm very easily able just to run up and get down inside of the new Black Ant Hill entrance that's over inside of the sandbox so this is another area you could go down into there will be a lot of black ants down in this area if you run down it gets super duper dark but if you keep on going sooner and later you do get some light from some uh, natural light that comes through also from the little glowing fungus that is down here and there is also a base in here that you guys can run into. It just takes a while to get there, but there you go. This is the entrance to the Black Ant Hill, or at least the second entrance to the Black Ant Hill. So you guys can get on in here and fight you guys some Black Ants. Now let's talk about the Black Ant gear that you can get as well. So I'm just gonna go right into my crafting menu here and we're gonna start with weapons and tools. So the first thing I wanna point out is that there is a Black Ant sword. You're gonna need two Black Ant mandibles that you get from Black Soldier Ants, uh, three, uh, uh, black ant parts and four berry leather. This is actually a really deadly blade I used it for a lot of the time in the beginning of the update um, Until they released the salt morning star, but this is still a very 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 deadly weapon And I definitely would suggest that you guys go and tech check this one out uh, the other thing that comes from this guy is a black ant shovel. This one, like I said, you're going to need to kill all diff both of the different kinds of ants and get one of the rarer parts, a black ant head. If you can get that, you can build yourself one of these cool shovels. And this shovel is what you need to dig up buried treasure, get gum pieces. Um, it helps you guys harvest clay faster. This is an all around better shovel. So you're going to want to go out and get this one as well. And the last thing that you get from black ants is the obviously the black ant shield. You only need four five black ant parts in order to make this bad boy you still need 10 black ant parts for or red ant parts and four berry leather to make it but all around it's a very good shovel it's very sturdy and it does have better defense than the standard weevil shield okay so the other thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the armor so in the armor you have the black ant helmet and all of that but there is something important that i want to point out about the black ant gear the black ant gear does not work the same as the red ant gear it does not give you hauling strength and it does not make you a friend of the black ants the black ants do not care if you are wearing this armor if a soldier ant sees you while wearing this armor they will fight you they do not care at least at this point so having a full set of black ant gear is awesome but it doesn't do the trick for you to block them off the black ant gear is heavy armor and it does give you plus to stun so each piece that you have will help you build up your stun meter faster um, by using this armor so this is a very very good armor set if you're looking to do a lot of stunning aka if you're looking to fight the brood mother if you stun her a lot you won't have to worry about her attacking you as often and lastly, the perk that goes into this gear, if we go over to OS and we scroll all the way down, is actually Pincushion. Uh, and Pincushion reflects some damage back to the attacker. So whenever you get attacked, there is going to be some damage that goes back to the attacker, aka back to the enemy that is fighting you. So in order to craft this armor, it does take B-Fuzz in order to craft the helmet. It is going to take more B-Fuzz in order to craft the... Uh, chest piece and even more bee fuzz in order to craft the legs so you have to kill but bees and black ants and get some silk rope in order to put these guys together but this armor set is definitely worth it for you to go out and get but guys that is all of the time i have today to cover the wonderful new edition of black ants in the game hope you guys like this video if you guys did please hit that like button for me let me know you guys want to see more also please leave me a comment down below and also please don't forget to subscribe and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one